Hi, I'm Dare. I'm Jessica, and we're the Crusades. We spent the last four years traveling around the world. When we came back to the U.S., we renovated a 21-foot travel trailer. We've been living full-time in it with our dog, Missoula, and cat, Tulsa, ever since. We're always up for an adventure. Let's see where this one takes us. Are you ready for an adventure? Huh? All right, good morning. Good morning! It is our last morning in Maine, and we've actually already packed up our camper, and we're heading out. Bye, Maine. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun, um, and another goal we set out for and checked off our bucket list, but now it's on to a new adventure. So today we're going to Wolfboro, New Hampshire, actually to stay with the couple that we met on Boondockers Welcome again. So we're going to drive there today. It's about four hours or so. Stay there for the, the evening and then keep on trucking. Only stay in one place per night. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, so we only have like a week to get to Michigan to where we're doing the sugar beet harvest. So we're going to stop along the way, hit a few spots, but it's pretty much quick. But we're going to try to bring you guys along with us because now we're rambling again. So we figured... We bring you guys along on our adventures. All right, see you there. All right, so I know I said we'll see you there, um, but we're gonna do B-roll anyways along the way, so what was I talking about? Also, just wanted to show you guys all the animals are safe and sound in the truck. All right, Missoula, ready for a new adventure. Everything running smoother this time, huh? Uh, been a while. <laughs> We've been a little rusty. This is definitely not lined up, but yeah, you got it. You, you'll get it. You get it. <laughs> Missoula, come here. Come here. Oh, hello. <laughs> All right, so we just got parked at our site. Missoula, I think, remembers it. And we saw our host who graciously let us stay here again. They actually just got back from traveling 23 days out in their RV. So they're unpacking as well and we're getting all set up here. But um, this time around, our tires have all been replaced and our wheel bearings are all packed. So we don't have any issues this time. <laughs> Unlike last time, if you recall, We had to deal with that. So this time it's a better experience. All right, so we went to let Missoula outside. Ew. <laughs> and apparently a dead squirrel just ended up somehow in the area. Ew. It looks like it has a disease. Yeah, not sure where it came from because it definitely was not in this area <laughs> at all when we were here. Just hope Missoula didn't get to it. I don't really know where it came from or if it like fell from the trees up there. I don't know. But it's gone. Dead squirrel's gone. So now Missoula can play. That was gross. All right, so after that whole dead squirrel debacle, uh, now it's time for a drink, so. Good morning. Um, it is Day two, today we are heading to Albany, uh, well, around the area of Albany, New York. Um, we didn't do much, obviously, and we're actually going to be taking it kind of slow on this trip, just because it's not so much to, it is kind of to see places, but it's, it's a quick trip and it's not so much to travel, um, and we're trying to save our money and be budget conscious and friendly while we travel to Michigan. 
Um, but right now we're packing up. Dare is on the outside and um, he does not need my help when it comes down to hooking our trailer up. And if you guys have seen before, we did a tip um, in an old video where we suggested if you're pulling anything behind you or have a trailer, we definitely recommend getting a uh, backup camera. We use that backup camera and we point it right at the, the ball hitch to the truck so that he doesn't need, even need me to help back the truck up to the trailer. He can do it on his own. So he takes care of the outdoor stuff, I take care of the indoor stuff. So I figured I'd kind of show you guys how we pack everything up in here real quick. Um, we did a few changes to our from our last trip, um, how we did everything. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Making a video. Oh, Missoula! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> so what we like to do up here is we bungee all of our doors closed and then because we have open cabinets up at the top in our um, kitchen area, we use bungees too on each side. We also have hooks that we place on the inside of the cabinet and that's how they hook onto. We like to keep it pretty stuffed because we don't want things falling out of here um, and moving around too much. So what we do here we also like to bungee our water and our cutting boards because normally we leave it on top of the sink but we don't want that sliding around either. We also have these they are adjustable for different size cabinets um, and whatever you need to use it for, they are adjustable so we use it to close off the space. Hey. hey. I didn't even finish our video and Dare's already done with the trailer on the outside. <laughs> we didn't do much. Yeah. We just said, we're just going to drop the hitch and leave the stabilizers up. Yeah, so, but we've gotten pretty quick at packing everything up too anyways. Right, Missoula? What is wrong with your ear? <laughs> Fix yourself. There you You're go. You're a mess. <laughs> we also use um, a bungee cord to help close off our oven so the door's not flying open while we drive, um, as well as in this cubby right here and along the outside of our trash can so that that doesn't roll around. Okay. So in the bathroom, we used another one of these like adjustable cargo holders is what Dara says we're going to call it so that all this stuff doesn't go flying out um, into the sink. And in the bathroom is where we keep all our plant babies. Uh, we were keeping them originally in the kitchen sink, but our plants have not only grown themselves, but we've also bought more since then. So in the shower they go as well as our dirty clothes laundry hamper and this door just gets locked right above so that i'm not going to do it right now because it's a little difficult but that way the door doesn't come swinging open when we're driving like this <laughs> can't see bam locked and secured That's all right say. Who's ready to go? I'm going to for my coffee first. That is true. <sighs> coffee first. And then Albany, New York? <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Let's get some coffee. Yeah. driving and getting closer to our destination and we are pulled over because what yeah. happened i don't know <laughs> yeah flat tire flat tire 
and we just bought new tires, although this is the one that wasn't new, so. We'll see how long we're here changing this out. <laughs> bearing kits because it's happened before well, it was likely to happen again and it did so now I'm putting the, the rotor back on I just repacked uh, I just packed the brand new bearings uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and throw the washer on castle nut make sure it spins right and we're gonna throw the tire on and uh, hit those last 15 miles till our spot <laughs> but we need a new tire anyways so we're gonna have to look into that so we've got like 20 minutes till we're at our boondockers welcome sites just hoping we get there fine so good job babe <laughs> Last night was a blast, everybody. We had such a good time. We contacted uh, the Boondockers welcome host that we stayed at just yesterday. You know, um, we were trying to make sure we had a place to stay, and this place we were gonna stay was kind of out of the way for us. So we stopped here in Richmondville, New York, and had a great time with other travelers, um, full-time school bus family, we had such an incredible time. We lit off paper lanterns, uh, carved pumpkins, had amazing tacos. It was just such a great, great experience. Um, couldn't have had a better time. And now we're on our way to Niagara Falls so that Jessica can see Niagara Falls for the first time. Yeah. I saw it once when I was a teenager. Yeah, not Dara's first time. So. We are on our way. We got four hours and 11 minutes till we're there. And uh, it's raining. Yeah. It's supposed to rain probably all day, but. It's supposed to rain all day. <laughs> we're going to see water, anyways, so. Who cares? <laughs> the tow truck driver it's been on two hours now um, but I guess New York has a law where if you're on the throughway you can't get towed by anyone other than the throughway expressway authority or whatever so the tow truck driver told us we have to get off the throughway in order to get service so we have to crawl pretty much 
half a mile an hour on a shredded tire and a broken leaf spring a quarter of a mile to get off the throughway. Still doing good, we're not dragging any metal or anything. We are still slow rolling to the exit. We have to get up the bridge and the throughway right there. And then we've made it. This is honestly like one of the most stressful things right now, like being on a freeway and just inching at like two miles an hour down the road with traffic coming and trying to keep our tire on the rim. Guys, we made it. Now we're just gonna go park right over there in this parking lot so that the service, uh, wait, what am I saying? Roadside service can get us. <laughs> I don't even know if we're gonna pull off that far. I might just pull yeah. off to the side of the road right about there. Yeah, honestly, as long as we were just through that toll, that's all that, that's all that mattered. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, our tow guy is here. He's backing up to get to us. I'm not really sure how this is all going to happen, so. Yeah, I, I don't either. <laughs> that's not the tow truck I asked for. Yeah, because our truck can't tow, our, our trailer can't tow right now, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I think he knows what he's doing, but if he doesn't, we'll find out. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, so bad news. They sent the wrong tow truck. I guess the lady who ordered it said that we had a fifth wheel. The guy confirmed, he said, are you sure? She said, yes. So there's nothing he can do. He can't tow us at all with the tow truck he has. Great. But good news is he's gonna help us at least get our suspension back on and replace the tire um, just so we can get to a safe place um, we're thinking of staying in the parking lot that we're actually right near for the night and in the morning we're going to take it to a welding shop and that should be the only thing we have to do is just weld some pieces together. So, this has been a great trip in uh, New York so far. So, sorry we didn't get to show you Niagara Falls and maybe I'll see you at another time. So here we are, we're on the side of the road. <laughs> John, the tow truck driver, Say hi, out. John! <laughs> and where are you from again? With Ro Rome, New York, from Greg Allinger Collision. Awesome, yeah, you guys definitely gotta hit him up. <laughs> hit him up if you need help on the side of the road. <laughs> but make sure you call them first because their insurance co your insurance company's gonna tell them that you need the wrong equipment. <laughs> that too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. That. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Just to show you guys, this is our temporary fix for now until we can get a welder. Yep to fix it. John uh, really MacGyvered this and it's an incredible, <laughs> incredible thing. He took ratchet straps to make sure that the leaf spring stayed off of the ground and then put our 4x4 here so that the frame can't go any lower at all than the 4x4 to keep our actual leaf springs from dragging on the ground. So we're going to drive without a tire. <laughs> without a tire at all. and. It's gonna be slow and it's gonna be tedious and it's gonna be it's gonna weird, <laughs> but it's gonna get us to the parking spot for the night. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is where we ended up for the night and a lot behind a closed Dunkin' Donuts. There is trying to dig out the generator because I'm being a pain and want to charge my laptop. Thank you. Huh? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't think he's very happy, but this is where we're gonna be for the night, and a welder should be coming in tomorrow to help us out to fix everything. All right. Good morning. Um, the welder is here, and he is working his magic. Um, I am inside right now, as they were, but. As you can see, he's out there. Maybe I'll sneak some clips of him working away, but fingers crossed, everything will work out fine. Well, you know what, it will, and we know it will. Um, and our plan is once the piece is welded back on to get the tire that we have back on, and we have some new tires being held for us at a shop right now, so our hope is to not have to be towed anywhere. 
we can just drive the trailer to a close enough location to get the new tires without any issues. So. It's gonna be this. You gotta turn the oxygen up. Also, for some of you who don't know, Dare took a welding course um, a little while back, so he's in here checking things out and kind of, you know, learning from a pro. He looks so cute. <laughs> Suspension, fixed and welded. Tires, new and replaced. Well, then we saw another issue. The back bumper is starting to come off. So, that is currently getting welded at the gentleman's shop who is helping us out to begin with. So, uh, Ottawa, you beautiful, beautiful trailer. I hope you will run totally safe and fine from now on. <laughs> A little bit of a better view. Sorry if the camera's all wonky and all over the place, but I don't have eye protection gear and I don't want to get in the way of these gentlemen working. So, <sighs> once that's all set, I think we should be good and safe to go. When we get to Ohio, we're going to have um, Dara's brother take a look, possibly, at the rest of everything just to kind of confirm and let us know if everything looks good. Um, you know, this isn't just a trailer, like a travel trailer, of course, this is our home. So it is a little bit more stressful when something goes wrong. So just hoping it's smooth sailing from here. All right, we are back on the road, all thanks to the help of Carl from Carl Markle Welding. And his kindness and generosity was unbelievable. Oh my gosh, like this was a really, shitty situation we were put in yesterday but every single person we met along the way has been just so kind so helpful and it's just really turned around things and it's gonna make this trip very memorable but in a positive way now in the end because of the people we met here so um, we got everything fixed that we originally knew we needed to get fixed on top of those those uh, we found another issue and that was that the rear bumper was coming off and it was very low to the ground so he welded that for us back up it is sitting nice and level nice and straight um so also put some angle iron to reinforce it and really added a lot of stability to the bumper yeah for, yeah for just and he just did it yeah guys like this has been a wild roller coaster of like stress uh being scared and worried but then also just like feeling so much joy and happiness from the people who have helped us so thank you to everybody who helped us and um because of you we're back on the road <laughs> and hoping to get to ohio this evening to enjoy some celebratory uh, beverages and food with family. So, we will see you guys there because we're gonna make it there, right? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> we made it! We made it! You've arrived. Thanks, Google.